Get ready for some serious ass whipping. Ooh, I heard some sound. I wonder what got hit. In today's video, we are gonna be doing a review of this, which is pretty much the Stingo self-defense tool. And we're gonna be doing some serious S whipping as well, just to see and test it out, to see if this is as good as a self-defense mechanism. Now, this does have a few pointers to it. This is good and bad in terms of what it is. There is no legitimate use for anyone to have this. So that's actually a bad thing. The good thing about this is that, oops, if you have to use this in a self-defense situation, this is going to be real punishment. And that's going to hurt. It looks very intimidating as is, just getting it out. So somebody might think twice, and if you swing this around, it'll make a lot of whooping sound. You can hear it right there. And this is just swinging it very soft. You can just also spin it around as well. You have to watch out not to hit the camera or my face with this thing because this thing is going to hold. This is going to be super extremely painful as well. Now, this comes in three different colors. There's going to be a blackout version. There is the nice orange version. There is also the green version of it as well. And I do not suggest that we have and get one that has the car seat opener because unfortunately if you hold this down the wrong way it's going to really hurt your finger or your hand and it's going to cause you an injury. So this is why this version is going back right to the store because I got the wrong version. So actually getting the cheaper one is actually a good thing. Now there is three different uses for this. One, self-defense. Two, walk out free get out of the vehicle in an emergency situation because it also features a glass breaker right over here that you can actually use and you can puncture any glass with it explodes all over the place this is pure metal over here it is also big as well on this side we have plastic covering inside of it is metallic so this is the same chain that's used in the bicycle chain lock. And in case you're thinking, oh, let me just remove this thing and let me have this fancy thing. Tough luck to you, that's not gonna happen. I tried it, it this, those things come out, you have to have like a superhuman force to try to get this thing out of here. You might as well, if you really want this, just this part, maybe you should just consider cutting it with a boat cutter. Now let's go ahead and do some whip ass test and see how this actually works on someone and I mean this thing right behind me let's go ahead and try this out do it right now so this is my Everest bag workout bag and what I'm going to be doing is whipping its ass and see how painful this thing is so the first thing is 5% on this thing. This is just 5% and you can already hear the sound on that thing. Yeah, 10%. Whoo, up to 25%. Whoa, hoo, hoo. that must have hold in it. We're gonna go 50%, we're not gonna go any higher. I don't want this thing to break. So, whoa. And that's it. I'm not going any farther than this. The way it looks like I almost ripped the bag apart. This thing is extremely powerful and dangerous too. And that is one of the things about this. Do not get one with the metal thing over here. In a self-defense situation, what is this good for? 
I'm not gonna even mention what it's good for, but make sure you get a good oil if, in case you do use this. Because right on it, there was a disclaimer, we go disclaimer, this thing is dangerous. Talking about dangerous, it's so tempting to go ahead and destroy like some kind of a box with this thing. They just tend to like whip something so bad. Once you have this thing, it's like the power of this. It's just so addictive. Now, the uses for it for self-defense situation is that you can put it like this and you have some thing, but really in realistically terms, just grabbing it and whipping it and in any shopping motion you actually want. Also, the cabotone, it also has a cabotone on the other side, which you can stab things with this. This is extremely dangerous, but really what you're really supposed to be stabbing is the window of your vehicle. Because if you're trapped and you can't get out in that kind of a situation, this thing will save your life. So how do you get out of this thing? Pretty much on the points of the window. It's going to be on the wall left side or upper right side all you have to do is to hit it over there and the whole entire window is supposed to break into pieces and fall fall out now make sure when you do this you are not looking you're actually going to look away especially if you don't have glasses on your eyes because it's going to just shadow all over the place in case you have to get out of your window and you're trapped in there it also features this specific one a seat belt opener on it as well so in case you want to get that one but then if you're using it for self-defense situation potentially you don't want to get one of the seat belt opener and as you're going to be swinging this there's not much for you to want you just swing this thing is just holds it wraps around its target and it hits it and it is extremely painful so hopefully you learned something new today and this show and if you did make sure you press subscribe and like and hit the, and smash the thumbs up sign as many times as you can because that's how I get paid <laughs> if you did enjoy it and you want to become part of the geek squad make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel see you in the next video of the show and of course you probably want to know what is my recommendation of this tool I would say this is a 9 out of 10 the, the only I will give one star out of this is that you can't remove this metallic thing I got this because I think this thing is super fancy really awesome looking and I'm so tempted to I'm just gonna get a one without the metal thing right here I'm gonna cut it right there and just, just use that because I think the rope is just I don't know I like the whip whip is cool <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's really hard to tell. Maybe you need two of them. One with a whip, one without just trying to cut it open or something. This thing is an exercise as well. There's actually a full fuse for it. It's just moving it up and down. I'm already getting muscles as it is. Yeah.